Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, I wanted to do an art musing video talking a little bit about um, negative criticism, um, how it happens, where it comes from, and uh, how, to, how to handle it, and um, you know, why sometimes we tend to overreact to it. Uh, so, first off, I, I think I could start off by saying that there's two concepts that will help you deal with negative criticism. Um, and know that it will come. I mean, if you're putting your work out there, you're always going to have somebody who comes along and feels like they could do it better and, and wants to tell you how to, how to, how to paint without you asking. Um, and, you know, I think that, that uh, what, where that comes from, and this is kind of the first concept here that, that can help, um, is that when somebody is unnecessarily negative or unnecessarily critical of you or your work or your ideas or whatever it might be, essentially that stems from them trying to cope with some kind of suffering that they've experienced in their life. Um, so, and it's you know it's not really the best way to to, to cope with with suffering, and it's only a temporary fix. Um, but uh, that's probably another video. But I'm, you know. Knowing that that's what's going on, you know, somebody is basically trying to make themselves right and you wrong so that they can um, feel better about themselves. So there's some kind of perceived shortcoming that they're trying to um, rectify by criticizing others. Because as soon as you make somebody else wrong and then you're right, you get this little, uh, it's almost like a little high or, you know, you get to feel um, better than somebody else. So for a short period of time, your suffering is, is kind of smoothed over. And then eventually what will happen is it will come back because you haven't properly dealt with it. And you have to be uh, rude to somebody else or uh, unnecessarily critical of somebody else or their work. And then it will get smoothed over again. But uh, it's a vicious cycle. Um, but I can use compassion um, to help me deal with people who are unnecessarily critical of my work because I. I understand that basically it means that they're going through something or they've been through something and that there there's an unhappiness that they're trying to deal with so um, you know it gets hard to, to be too too upset about it or take it too seriously because you understand where it's coming from and you know the last thing you really want to do is get too mad or be too mean or try to retaliate to uh, somebody who is, is dealing with something obviously uh, in their own life so that helps me and another concept that I think is really good and this goes this extends into everyday life too this is not just about painting but it's the and I didn't come up with this concept I've read about it but it really helped it's the velcro and Teflon theory and basically what this states is that our brain has um, is hardwired to perceive threats and red flag them and this comes from a primitive instinct to make sure that we were able to stay alive we were able to, to zero in real quickly on threats so uh, if a tiger was was chasing us you know that was a threat and we had this fight or flight mechanism that kicked in well um, you know that that mechanism is really not needed too often in today's life we're not running out in the woods from wolves and tigers and bears and uh, unfortunately the mechanism didn't get that memo so what it does is it starts looking for other threats. So these become threats on our integrity, threats on our opinions, threats on our ideals, our political ideas. Um, you know, and what happens is we start to perceive this threat, uh, you know, almost as if our life depended on it. Oh, we have to defend our position, or I have to, um, you know, have the last word in that argument because, uh, you know, or else I'm not, you know, doing my my job at keeping myself alive, but but that's not really necessary anymore. So what happens is these these threat these perceived threats, which are come as criticism, they stick to our brain like Velcro, and this is where the Velcro Teflon thing comes in. Um, so I might have a, a video with a hundred comments. Ninety nine percent of those comments might be wonderful, positive responses to my video, um, and if one comment is critical uh, where somebody is you know unnecessarily critical and just overly negative that comments gonna have a lot more weight and try to stick to my brain more than the 99 and unfortunately because the wonderful um, helpful positive comments aren't perceived as a threat my brain lets them slide away like Teflon just so um, you can actually consciously change this it's you know thinking positive is not um, 
I mean, it's actually a scientific thing. It actually can work. You can actually start to focus on the positive things and your brain will start to get in the habit of grabbing a hold of those positive things. Um, so that's why I try to look at everybody's comments. Uh, I try to respond to and it. And if, if I missed your comment, it's not on purpose. It's just because um, it was in a past video and I haven't gotten around to it. I'm going to try to go back and, and respond to everybody's comments. But I love hearing what you all have to say and I love sitting down and reading every comment and 99% of them are wonderful comments. And by inter internalizing that and focusing on that, I'm teaching my brain to grab a hold of the positive. Um, and in turn, when I look at somebody who is unnecessarily critical, um, you know, we know them in today's society as haters, and there's the old expression that haters are going to hate. You know, what do you do? You, you just ignore them. Um, you know, or you respond and s nicely and say, you know, I, whatever, you know, that's not my way of doing things, that's your way of doing things, and, and uh, so it's, it's not really important. But the last thing you want to do is be too mean to them because, um, you know, you don't want to focus too much on it and you want to let it slide off your mind like Teflon. So, um, and, and eventually what will happen is your brain will start to be re-hardwired, so, so rewired. You can actually start to um, really start to focus on all those moments and it could be something simple. It could be waking up and having that first cup of coffee in the morning and how good that feels um, or, you know, um, going outside and hearing a bird sing. I mean, it doesn't have to be um, monumental things. It could be little things throughout the day. I and mean, if you just take even sometimes just three or four seconds to focus on it and think, ah, that's so nice. Um, what will happen is your brain will start to be doing it automatically. It'll, your brain will start doing it to where it's, um, it's just, you know, picking up on all the positive things. And then you start to become more grateful because you start to realize you know, we might have 99 positive things in a day, and if we get one little piece of criticism, for some reason, or for the reason that I've explained, that, that criticism, it, it, it just carries so much weight and it'll just bounce around in our minds. So, um, so focus on the little positive things throughout the day. Don't worry about, um, you know, if you get criticism of your work that wasn't uh, solicited and, um, you know, let it go. And um, pay attention to all the people that are that are encouraging and supportive and and are um, being positive about your work because that's what really matters and that's who the people you're connecting with and that's what art's about is about making connections. So I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. I'm going to do another video, um, a demo video. It's supposed to be really warm, so uh, it would be nice to find a little place where I could set up and, and do a painting of a barn. I thought it'd be cool to do a barn. I haven't done one yet, so. Um, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the wonderful comments, and I, I, like I said, I'm really just, it, it brings a lot of joy to me to know that people are, are able to take what I'm teaching and, and, and go outside and make paintings. So um, I look forward to doing another video for you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.